This is Rastan Saga 2 from Taito, released into the arcades on December 5th, 1988. Following on from the original, this side-scrolling hack and slash em up has you once more taking the role of a barbarian, who tries to defeat an evil wizard. Unlike the original game, Rastan Saga 2, or Nastar Warrior as it was known in the West, has you control a very chunky looking barbarian. Also unlike the original, you move in a very sluggish manner, with incredibly stiff animation that looks quite awkward. You still have 8 way movement, and a button for attacking and a button for jumping, but now the jumping has a very noticeable half second delay to it. At first this is very off putting, but you can get used to it eventually. There are a total of 6 rounds, each consisting of 2 areas, an outdoor scene and a castle hall where the player must confront the stage's boss. The backgrounds of the outdoor areas feature broad landscapes with changing sunlight effects with detail. The game's bosses include Medusa, the Gladiator Centaur and the final boss, the Evil Wizard. Overall, this is a pretty poor sequel to a classic hack and slash game. At least, the music is pretty good. Despite Rastan Saga 2 being a rather mediocre game, it did get a few ports. First off we have the Mega Drive port that was released on August 10th, 1990 and developed by Opera House. That's quite fitting as Opera House were known for producing some ugly looking Mega Drive ports, such as Midnight Resistance, Veritex, Captain America and the Avengers and Master of Monsters. Mind you, they also ported two crude dudes, which wasn't too bad. So how is their port of Rastan Saga 2? Well, first of all, the presentation is extremely lacking. There are no options or even a demo, only a title screen. Pressing start takes you to a wall of text, then straight into the game. On the plus side, the large sprites of the arcade are present. The animation is quite similar, but lacking frames in a few instances. The game looks very similar to the arcade too, in terms of level design and enemy patterns. But what isn't the same is how it plays. Fast Dance Saga 2 on the Mega Drive is much faster than the arcade, and Opera House have fixed the jumping too. So yeah, this port is actually more fun to play than the arcade. Just a shame the choices made when colouring this port were rather poor. But yeah, that's Opera House for you. Thank you. 
the PC Engine also got a port on July 6th, 1990, but this time it was developed in-house by Taito. That's not to say it's a much better game though. Okay, first of all, let's address the positives. Again, just like the Mega Drive version, the game is now much faster and has a jump which doesn't suffer from lag. The choice of colours used is way closer to the arcade than the Mega Drive version and the game follows the arcade layout rather well. However, as you can hear, the music is bloody awful. I honestly thought there was something wrong with my PC Engine. The game also pauses every time the Barbarian changes form, or in other words, gets a new weapon or respawns after dying. The jump at times can be very floaty, resulting in death, as you'll see at the end of this feature. And finally, a minor nitpick. Why don't the backgrounds cover the whole playing area? At first I thought the game was heavily bordered, but then I noticed sprites appearing in the black space. So obviously the game is not bordered. So is this better than the Mega Drive version? Not really, but it also isn't much worse. While many of the sprites are smaller than the Mega Drive and the music is terrible, at least it looks nicer overall. And let's take a look at all those versions of Rastan Saga 2 running side by side. <laughs> 